So, this just came in. It is the metal version. So what the metal version does is you can put a microphone fitting here and here. I don't think I really need it. But let's just take a look compared to the, the factory one. So how do you take this apart? You slide up. Okay. If I'm going to keep this thing, I think this will be a good investment because it is, what do we say, a metal version of it. Okay. Seems pretty cool. The main issue is, what is still, open this up. Yes, well, yes, it will. So, let's leave this box open. Okay, so this is that. This is this. I think I think I, I see the point of this. I'm gonna push this back out. Get the point. It's very nice, very well built. So, okay. Now, adjust the camera a little bit up that's the case this is what I'm looking for so there's two version this one version has no um, no this piece so this version has this piece it's plastic not aluminum how do you do this I've never done this before so do you go one sec see if I can get a tool okay doesn't work well, this way no only goes in one way and this is the way it wants to okay it's in okay and then I got the package let's just take a look even with just this even with just this would it work let me try it on sound test sound test Okay, so let's open the door. Close. So I can get some lighting in here. Okay, it's sitting kind of close. I doesn't see the emblem. But this is where it is. Sound test. Recording? Hopefully this seats more. Get the doorway open. On the luck. Here is the Corvette sign. Let's see if we can see more. Driving straight forward. Tilt the angle a little bit. Sound test. Okay, take a look. Recording my angle to see if this works. I think it works. Okay, in the end, I have some footage I can upload. This is the only way to do it. And the arms are pretty good. I might keep the arms so I can film forward. But overall, this is the more practical angle. And the audio doesn't work, so those can go. The audio does not work, doesn't even register for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with this. I don't, I don't know what I have to do. But the audio doesn't even, doesn't even read. Does it say anything? I don't know why the audio doesn't even read. Maybe there's something wrong with it, with this audio setup. This, is there a battery for this thing? Yeah, it doesn't even, there's no audio. So we can just forget about the audio. The audio doesn't even work. So we will return to hard case, which we'll never need. The audio piece, let's clip in. Now, let's see if we can get this is close to the... Oh, it looks like we can't. Not possible because it has to be out a little further. We're missing a little arm. Let's see if we do this. If we do that, then we do that. Let me think about this first. So if we do this too. Okay, so conclusion is, um, 
I think I'm going to keep this piece at the moment. Oh, I can't film with this now because I want to wait for the other piece to come in. Um, but this piece can go back to Amazon. It's a process of elimination. So this piece will go back to Amazon. Okay. I think it was just missing a link right there. The other piece sits a little high. Now if we can get it down to about here, it would be almost perfect. Okay, I'm waiting for one more short piece I ordered last night. But this piece will go back to Amazon. I'll, I'll do a return on this and, and that's that. Okay, uh, a few days later, got this. So I returned the other ones already. Still kept the arm for now. This very large arm thing, which I like. I can shoot back at myself. Only if I keep the camera. This is one short one, one medium, two pair. So the idea is the idea is if we can get it past just enough. Just enough down. You see? Just enough down. And we don't have to, you know, use the other one. So, let's go and try the short one first. If the short one doesn't work, come with the extra knob. Okay. Well, actually, that is not extra. That is not extra. Interesting. That is it. So I tried the other way to flip this whole thing around, clip the other way. It doesn't do it. It has to clip down. Otherwise, I'll reverse it, see if I can go down because this thing kind of angles up a little. I was thinking I'd reverse this, this whole plate. It just doesn't. It just, just doesn't like it. Okay, so now we have this. Why so loose? I don't like it. The hell, man. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and try it. If it holds it, it holds it. Okay, this is the furthest it will go down. Let's lock that back in. Just the other one, it won't lock. It is aluminum, but the spacing is just barely missing. I might have to put some spacer here, so that would to hold. But this is what I'm hoping past my my forehead and where my eye is. So I'm going to try it and put this on for now. Take a look. So look like it's right above my eye, which is perfect. Just a little attachment. The angle looks really good. Let me try in a different location. Okay, it's in the bathroom. Take a look. I think this angle is almost perfect, exactly where I'm looking at. Interesting. I'm looking at the sink. Looking at the sink. It should be in the middle. Looking at the toilet. Should be in the middle. The air freshener. Me. Nice. Let's go try walking downstairs. Hopefully this feels natural. In the living room. Looking at the TV. Straight on. Should be in the middle. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, looking at the candle. If we look closer, let's look at the Hello Kitty. Right into the Hello Kitty. That should be fine. Looking at the lock. Again, this is just a testing for the angle. Let's look a little far away. And I should, I can't see the screen, but I should be pointing at a shoe, the very top one. Okay, I'm looking at the switch. The goal is where this pointing is exactly where I'm looking. So I'm looking at the engine, the side mirror, my side mirror for the Corvette, Jaguar side mirror, headlight, wheels, 
check out the calipers. Looking at the calipers. Okay. Actually, kind of looking at this direction. I wasn't looking at that, now I'm looking at this. Okay. Grab the slipper, sandal. And let's go ahead and unlock the car. Get into a sitting position to see if this works out right in the middle of the screen. Okay, be natural about it. I'm looking at the screen right there. Looking down a little bit to the emblem. Okay, to the screen. To the red and yellow, uh, red and blue temperature con temperature thing. Seats, looking forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's turn on the car. Turn off the car. All the lights. Okay, looking at this screen right here, GPS. Look at this. Look at that. This, this. Shift knob. Looking at the select mode. Okay, hopefully this works out. Go double check the footage. Get the trunk. And this is the battery tender. Okay. Oh, unlock. Come out, turn this off. Should be okay. Lock the car. And looking at the position, I really like the position. It's just about one inch above my eye, currently. Just one inch above my eye. And it's close enough here, so I, it would be nice if it's really against my eye. Against my eyes. But, this is okay. This is a pretty good, plus it's got a wide angle. I like it. It's not in, in P with my view. So, yeah. Want to see the footage, what it looked like. Looking at that, looking at this, 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 this. Just before we check out the footage, I plug this in. And look how nice this setup is. Okay, it's easy. Just a helmet with a very quick con connection right there, flipping down. And just plug in right there. Simple, easy setup. An eye level view. Okay, if you can work out the speaker, you can plug in the speaker right here. But I can't. Or I can still buy the, uh, the biphonic earphone thing and I can use a voice recorder or a sound recorder to record a very nice voice and sync them up. But this is a great set up, setup. Easy to uh, upload. The door barely cleared this so you can open it without breaking the door. Okay, after seeing the latest footage from this, I really like it. This setup is amazing. So I think this is the setup I'm going to use for all my vloggings. And I, um, yeah, this is click all the way down. It will hit that. So the angle is preset. I didn't have to do anything. It's almost perfect. Okay, it's always locked in the same position. Um, okay, so finally I decide on this. The other one was uh, a little hard to adjust. Uh, I went to bought this again after I returned it. And now I have this link allow me to adjust this in any angle I want to. It's much more flexible. But it is on my, my eyes right here. Okay, so still above my eye. And I can also adjust above or above however I want to. And I like this option much better. And I also got this Velcro. Send it. Mama says I'm special for my helmet. And Beast Mode. It's all on Amazon. I will leave all the link on there. Decide to keep it. So I, I finally took out the stickers and I stick onto this and this and this just today, okay? And I decided to keep this uh, arms 
So I can do, let's see if I can illustrate this. I can do, I stick the original GoPro piece on here. So I can actually click this in, click the in, okay? And I can film back at myself as I'm running or riding bicycles and stuff. Or, let me unlock this. I can click back here, okay? See a camera I can seal this. So this way I can do like I'm running and just kind of looking. It's like someone filming filming me from behind. So that would be cool. So I decided to keep this. It's only eight dollars. And I also have the first person view. I have the people can film me from the in the front and the rear. I think that's really cool. Or from the top down. I think that's kind of cute. So uh, yep, this is my final setup. I think it's gonna work very well. I will keep you, keep all the link below and upload some videos later, but this is exactly what I'm looking for, uh, first person view. And if I really want to do very good audio, I might get one of those spy, phonic, something earphone thing that can record left and right sounds for the engine. Uh, if I'm doing the uh, riding around, cruising around videos. Thanks for watching, and yeah, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Nothing on YouTube like this, so that's the reason I have to experiment all this, all these times, and I really like it. A very quick look of the setup. Make sure you can see it. it. Should look really good, right above my eye. See it perfectly. On a smaller side note, I got the DJI charger with DJI, DJI battery. It comes with two battery. And I label them number two and number three. This is the original DJI battery. They all factory. In fact, all three battery pretty much brand new. But they're so smart, they give you two, so you can stick your original one there and you can charge it. And the flashes, you have to read the instruction, tells you how many percent, how much percentage it is. Also, after you disconnect it, let's see. After you disconnect this, there's a little button right here, and it tells you if it's full charge. If it's not, it will flash in different rate. Tells you what percentage it is, and it should goes away momentarily. Yep, that's it. So get this. Don't get the cheap ones, because this actually it does have thirteen hundred ohms. Okay, lasts as long as the factory one, only twenty dollars more. But original DJI is twenty two dollars per battery. This whole thing is only like fifty some odd dollars, so it's really worth it, I believe. Let's look at the CP farewell polarized filter. CPL it's one point six F stop. Okay. Here's the lens. It is clear, but it's polarized. Polarized. So let's go ahead and put that on. Standard lens from Osmo. Need to come out. In comparison, it's about the same size. Slide this guy on. Like you can adjust right at the angle right here. Nice. I also have something special for it.
It'll look like it's sticking. Just keeping this away from sticking to the the lens. It's not sticking to the lens. Yes, the lens protector doesn't work for the PL filter. Interesting. Real quick, look at this PL lens. See the glare? And the glare goes away by turning it. Glare. Glare goes away. Not instantly come back. Let's do it again. Clear it goes away. Nice. Okay, the accessory upgrade continues. Let's open this. Not sure this is gonna be a one video or just a long series of videos. But I think it might be just one video altogether. I'm looking for it's very loose actually if you don't tuck all the way back in there Overall, I would say this is okay. Is there a difference between the top and bottom? Doesn't look like it. Of course, you get left and right. You always do left and right. Okay, and then I can adjust the, the lens filter with this. That's cool. Okay. You can do left and right, top and bottom. They say if you do if you don't do top and bottom you get uh shadows. So let's take a look. I don't see anything. So let's try top and bottom. It works either way. I think in my case, most of the time the lights is coming from left and right. So I would do left and right. In this case. And I will set this up just like this. Push it all the way in. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I think I'm finally fully done with this built. Uh, let's see what's the best way to do this. I think this is it. This is the, the way we're gonna go about it. It has to come up first. Click here, and then you install the lens. Well, in this case, will be this way. Push all the way in, and it's in there. It's perfect. Perfect blocking style. And the best part is, it won't damage my lens, mainly to protect my lens when I set it down.
see I have an issue when I set it down it touches my lens before now it just sits on the little cushion piece little bumper I guess Oh, bumper, bumper.